Hello there, and welcome back to an overdue episode of Snow Sakura. It's been a while since I've um, continued playing this, so let's get straight to it. Um, last time we got to the bit where we just found out about Misaki's past, um, that she'd met Yuji beforehand. So I'm interested to see where it's going to go on from here on. I think Ray was just called to the principal's office. So yeah, let's continue. Hmm, I'm concerned. I think I'll go sneak a peek of what's going on. You better not! What if it's something serious? Hmm. If you would like, I could go see what's going on. What? I have something I need to give my sister anyway. Oh. She would make a pretty good spy. Could you do it just for this one, Stan? Roger! Yuji, will you come with too? Huh? You're her accomplice. Why me? You can be her bodyguard. No, that's alright. I can go by myself. Oh no, Misaki. You're far too adorable to be left alone in our school. Kazooie! We're counting on you, Tajibana! Hmm. Meet Kazooie's gaze resentfully or look away resentfully. <laughs> No one wants to be a pussy. Let's meet her gaze. Are you serious? Are you serious? Absolutely, positively, that's serious. Her eyes glimmered sharply. Alright, alright. I was forced to accompany Misaki. We walked side by side down the hall. By the way, what do you have to give to your sister? Ah, oh, yes. Yes. A cell phone. Miss Misato has a cell phone? Are there even any towers in this town? She's very forgetful. She often forgets her wallet and phone and things like that. She prefers to go at her own pace, you see. We arrived at the faculty office. I peered through the crack in the door. I didn't see Ray anywhere. Let's go in. Yeah. We entered the faculty office. Stinks in here. The office smelled like smelled of coffee, cigarette smoke, and kerosene. What? Shit, come over his voice. Uh, oh crap, it's Mr. Kataka. Kataka. Mr. Tachibana, Miss Suya, what are you doing here in the teacher's office? Uh, I, uh. Excuse me, where is Miss Suya? Teacher Suya? She's now talking in there. This guy needs to work on his grammar. Teacher Suya, your sister is coming. I have no idea what he's trying to say. Okay. But she does. On your way now. Thank you. Thank you very much. We bowed and headed in. There's Miss Misato. Ray was there too. Misaki, what's wrong? You forgot something. Forgot something? Yes, this. The phone? Yes, it's your cell phone. My cell phone? Hmm. Hmm. You're right. It is. I think she's suffering from brain lag. <laughs> what? You're such an airhead. Ray muttered quietly. Yes, she is indeed an airhead. Did Miss Misato call you here? Yeah, sort of. Hmm. Ray looked troubled. Oh, I'm sorry. We were in the middle of talking. She turned to Ray. Anyway, I want you to talk with your family about this again. I understand. I'll try, but I don't know if they'll listen. <laughs> Sounds really evil now. It's your own problem, Kurosagi. Yeah. I'll be going now. Free left. Ray doesn't look too cheerful. Yeah. She looked worried. I wonder what she'll be worrying about. I silently watched as she walked away. Yuji, we should go back now. Yep. There was just one question left in my mind. Bing bong, bing bong. <laughs> it was after school. Time to go home, virgin. <laughs> Don't call me a virgin. Shasty, my young man. Or in other words, pure boy. Time to go home, pure boy. Yeah. <laughs> we boarded the train and headed for Yukito. There was no traffic on any of the streets. 
There are Saki and Misaki. Z they went shopping with Hiyama. That's it, Same. You want to stop by my place on the way home for a tussum? Fuck off, Sumiyoshi. The train rumbled gently. We soon arrived at Yukito Town. I'm home! Mom, my brother's a guest! Pardon me. Hello there. Gyuch! Ray was here. What are you doing here? I came for a bite to eat. Your mum had to go to town meeting, so I'm taking care of the place until she gets back. Nothing more than that. Her explanation was very easy to understand, even for someone like Sumiyoshi. Saki and others aren't with you. They went shopping with Yama. I see. One to three is... <laughs> hey, Fit! How many of those Oden have you eaten? Huh? Seven, I think. And out of those, how many of them were daikon radish? Seven, I think. And there's no more daikon radish left now! I like daikon radish. Your mum told me I could eat as much as I want while she's gone. That old bike has no business sense! We sat at the count. Oh, Jesus Christ. We sat at the counter. <laughs> She said she'll be home in about two hours. Phew. Ray took a long drag from her cigarette. Hey, hey, hey! Huh? You're, you're, you're smoking? Oh, this? She blew out a cloud of smoke. You want one? I, I don't smoke. You're smart. She took another puff. Don't blame me if someone catches you. I don't care. Wearing a school uniform, cigarette in her mouth. It's a weird combination, but somehow it suited her. Okay. There's nothing better than a cigarette after dinner. You sound like an old man. It's something you just wouldn't understand. She was like a completely different person compared to earlier today in the faculty office. She's so bright and cheerful now. Just what happened in there today? What's wrong? Huh? You're staring at my... Cigarette. <laughs> it's because there's something you don't see every day, am I right? Ah, uh, yeah. I nodded. Oh well. It's no use getting worried about it. But I still have to wonder. Suiyoshi, I'll have another Odin. You can have anything except Daikon Radish. You cheapskate. I'll try not to think about it now. I finished dinner and sat around in my room. Yuji, why don't we take a bath together sometime? Oh, sorry, I, I, I just took a bath. <sighs> Gotta have that one. <laughs> Uncle walked away with a sad, lonely look on his face. Saki appeared in his place. Yuji, I want to show you something nice. Something nice? Are you, good? <laughs> Are you going to show me your boobs? Who would want to show you your boobs? I want to show you the underwear I bought with Kazooie today. Why, why do you want to do that? Underwear? Take a good look. It's pretty cute, isn't it? It was a bra covered with little frills and decorations. There's nothing very exciting about looking at underwear with nobody in it. We all bought the same thing. Misaki, Kazooie, and I. I see. Give it to me a sec. No, you can only look at it. Okay, showtime is over. Good night. She walked away, holding her f- <laughs> so filthy for a second. Her frilly bar <laughs> in her hand. Matching underwear. <laughs> I suddenly imagined Uncle Sumiyoshi and I buy buying matching underpants. <laughs> My head started to spin. I think I better go to sleep. <laughs> Sumiyoshi is as homo as ever. Well now. Rattle rattle. Mic switch on. Click. Eh, eh, test, test. Ahem. <clears throat> Wake up! Oh, what, what, what the? Good morning. Good morning? There was a change of plans and I decided to wake you up with incredibly loud noises instead. Now I'll sing until you get out of bed, Yuji. 
Ambalan, Seki Techibana, the title of the song is The Girl from the Snow Kingdom. La 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 la, oh, the girl from the Snow Kingdom! My eardrums! My eardrums! My brain is vibrating, it's a mush! I'm up, I'm up now! I've never been so awake in my entire life. <laughs> hey, morning. Is something wrong? You look half dead. Let's just say something came up. No, fair. You, you did it. Huh? And don't try to deny it. I can tell. So you finally did it, huh? Hey. So how was it? I bet it felt good. What are you talking about? Hey, boy. You can't keep any secrets on your best friends in the whole wide world. To tell you the truth, I'm in shock. I never thought you'd lose your virginity before me. Hold on, you've got the wrong idea. Is this the hand? The hand that fondled Saki's boobs and ass and size? Oh, it's so smooth. Don't rub your face on it! Man, Yuji, you sure have turned into an asshole since losing your virginity. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong idea. I'm still a virgin. <laughs> Pass the fire, oh my god. She said that way too loud. Ah, everyone's eyes focused on me. What's the virgin? You don't need to know. Don't make eye contact with him. Oh. I believe in your Yuji. Keep on the fight, Yuji! <laughs> For some reason, a total stranger gave me words of encouragement. <laughs> oh dear lord. Morning homeroom. Well now, everyone. This is the last week before your term exams. Do your best and study as hard as you can. Term exams. One week from today, the term exams will start. This time, we have some difficult tests prepared for you. If you fail three of your tests, you'll be plunged into a hellish world of extra supplementary lessons. So please, study hard. I'll get mad if you don't. She smiled cheerfully as she cracked her knuckles. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yuji, come here for a second. Hmm? You usually get good grades, don't you? Huh? Why do you ask? You weren't in the top of your old class at your old school, were you? No, my grades were just slightly above average. That's not good at all. Shut up. I thought I could use you as a tutor. I really don't want to have to take those supplementary lessons. I felt a sudden feeling of pressure. Studying for tests, eh? I haven't studied a bit since I've moved here. Of course, I hardly ever studied before I moved here, come to think of it. Maybe I should hate the books once in a while. Just enough to keep the teachers happy, that is. Morning classes were over, and now it was time for lunch. So yeah, I'm going to end the episode there, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, because that would certainly motivate me to make more videos. And as always, thanks for watching, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.